Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Pisces for March of 2019. The monthly readings are already up on the channel so you can check them out with the tarot and the healing session attached, uh, which everybody seems to love and I love that everybody loves it and getting good stuff from that. Uh, but I wanted to go today and do a spread on why are you stuck to your ex? We just got over the five day challenge in the Facebook group uh, where I'm going live for like 30 days over there. So you want to check it out. But we just got done, but I'm leaving the videos up for another five day, uh, another week and a half so that you guys can get in on it as well. So, um, you know, check that out. The link is in the description to sign up for it, to get the videos and the Reiki and everything, good stuff that goes along with it. And also um, in the comments too, I'll, I'll put the link. All right, but today we're going to talk about your relationship with your ex. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about what is making you stuck or holding you stuck and also, um, how to move forward from it, okay? Okay, so what I'm feeling here for you is that this relationship was really kind of, um, I feel like this was a long-term deal. Like, I feel like you guys were going to get married. And again, please remember this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and um, check out your moon and rising signs to see if it resonates deeper. But um, I definitely feel like you had a long-term commitment in your head about this at least. You know, I don't know if you guys were on the same page. We'll find out. But um, I definitely feel like this was a long-term um, vision that you had with this person. You know, it, you were going to get married, you were going to have a family, all this stuff is kind of how I feel uh, with that. There was like a lot of different options. Um, some of you were even going to move with this person, like I'm getting like move across country um, or maybe move in like toward where their parents were or something. So let's see, I'll get you to... <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting they could have been a cancer, um, but you have for them, you have the Queen of Swords and the Lovers card, and I feel like they were harsh, harsh with their words, though, about this, like they might have, they might have wanted this and they might have loved you and, you know, wanted the same vision that you had, but I feel like they were kind of harsh here with their, with the sword, the Queen of Swords, I always say is like, you know, their words. It's like standing your ground and being, being, you know, setting your boundaries and stuff. But with the lovers right next to it and how she's facing it, I just feel like it, they could have been a little bit harsh, a little bit harsh with their words, with their actions against the love that you had. So I do feel like there were some really, and it's not even days. It's like there were some really good weeks and then there were some really bad weeks and then there were some really good weeks and then there were some really bad weeks. Um, they're telling me stress really played a part of this. Like if they were very stressed, it would be like they were a different person. And for you over here, we have the queen of wands and the ace of wands energy. Okay. So this was like, I felt like you had, I feel like you had your shit together and you knew what you wanted. And this person was kind of like rocky, a little bit rocky. Um, and I feel like you stood your ground, like you're not dealing with that crap. So I don't know if you broke up with them or they broke up with you, because even if you broke up with them, you could still be stuck on that person because maybe they weren't what you wanted. Um, and that that's kind of what I'm feeling there with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands is like you wanted this start, but you wanted it with the right person. And the way that they treated you or acted like it wasn't like it wasn't what you wanted. So why are you stuck here? Hmm. I'm getting that you're stuck here because you thought that maybe this was your soulmate energy. This was your soulmate person. Um, and it's taking you a lot of effort. So you have the High Priestess card, the Eight of Swords, and the Chariot here. And it's really holding you hostage because I feel like you think that this relationship was something bigger. It was your soulmate. It was, this is the person you're supposed to be with. Maybe, no, actually they're telling me twin flame, that twin flame word, which we talk about in the challenge. Um, you know, they, they're talking about that this might've been your twin flame because it was so rocky and back and forth and volatile. Um, some of you could think it's your soulmate, all of that. They're just telling me it's a higher connection. There's a deeper connection here and that you're stuck there and you can't move forward because 
it's like, how can you move forward from that person? How can you move forward from your soulmate? You're supposed to be with your soulmate. And it's kind of keeping you blocked there. It's keeping you stuck. Um, let me know in the comments below if that resonates with you. All right. How do we move forward? All right, how we move forward is the temperance card and the four of wands here. All right, so the, temp the four of wands is always about communication to me, is about communication. Um, but with the temperance card there is it's about what I'm drawn to here is the water that she's pouring on the fire. And it's about putting the fire out. And to really communicate, to be aware, which is what we talk about in the challenge, is to open your eyes, to be aware of what's really going on. And to put those thoughts of all, all of that soulmate and twin flame energy to the side for a minute and really kind of dig down deep to see what's going on. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about when you do the challenge. But um, it's really putting that fire out, the chaos in your mind, the random thoughts that are going, 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 going in your mind to put that aside, to put that down and to really communicate with yourself and feel and look back and review this relationship. What was good? What was bad? Um, but you can't do that when you're caught up in your head about this is my soulmate. When you're this is my soulmate or this is my twin flame, you're putting yourself that this is it and this is how it is and that's it. And you don't take the time to kind of review and reflect on the relationship that you had, what was good, what was bad, um, and, and what did you learn from it? That's the most important part is what did you learn from it? So that's how you move forward is by putting the fire out of those thoughts in your mind and moving forward and really kind of communicating within yourself and reflecting on the relationship that you had, okay? If you need help with that, again, the challenge is there only for about a week, a, a little bit over a week. So check it out while the videos are still up and let me know what you think and give me a like and a subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos for the March readings if, um, if this resonated with you or if you wanna check that out. Check that out, check out the Reiki. Um, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Uh, I muchly, uh, greatly appreciate every single one of you watching the videos and commenting on them as well to let me know how it's resonating. It really helps me as a reader. All right, much love to all of you and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.